It's regarded as the holy grail of modern automotive engineering. That is the quest for self-driving vehicles. Tesla, for long, has been at the forefront of the technology. Well, now motorway operator Transurban has partnered with Silicon Valley-based software company Plus to pursue its own driverless truck program. Victorian political reporter Simon Love is with me. And Simon, just explain exactly what Transurban launched today. Hello, Ross. Well, the Balti Bridge in Melbourne, the iconic Balti Bridge is behind me. And last year, Transurban conducted a very successful trial of autonomous vehicle technology, particularly when it came to the truck industry and freight. Now, because of the success of that trial, a Silicon Valley firm plus, well, they've come out here to Melbourne and today they were greeted with a number of other startups, entrepreneurs and tech minded people at a forum hosted by the Victorian Chamber of Commerce and Industry. And there uh, it was announced by Transurban that both the companies would be uh, would be working together essentially on the next phase of this trial of autonomous technology. So this would ultimately, as it did in that first trial on the Balti Bridge behind me, it would allow trucks to move at quite quiet times of the day without a, a driver actually with their hands on the wheel. There's still a person, a truck driver or a driver at least in the cabin. But they're not actually having to make all of those different decisions and movements that you would as a driver. So as you say, if this trial goes to a success in the next phase of these operations, then we could certainly see big changes when it comes to productivity. So I spoke with uh, the uh, people from PLUS who've come all the way from San Francisco for this uh, event hosted by the Victorian Chamber here today and as well Transurban. Uh, what we have right now is I think that there's just tremendous synergy to be had between that intelligent vehicle and intelligent road infrastructure uh, and really figuring out how do you best bring those together and connect them. That trial really showed that the, uh, the technology of self-driving trucks is certainly able to work, the trucks are able to drive themselves and most importantly we also discovered that the help of smart infrastructure to help the truck navigate, to literally help it see around the corners and know the road conditions as it's travelling was of great value to the truck and it improves its safety and efficiency etc. And that's really the reason why we're continuing to invest in this and to see what else we can do to make automated freight. So, Ross, for now, the trial's been taking place here in Melbourne. Uh, Transurban, of course, operates toll roads right across the country in Sydney as well in Brisbane. So whether the company plans to have a crack at running this autonomous vehicle, this freight truck on those toll roads, well, it's yet to be seen, but certainly the next phase for this will be running the trial through more of the CityLink system. So coming off the Balti Bridge, down into the Burnley Tunnel and out to some of the warehouses down in Melbourne's southeast, where that freight connection is so vital here in Victoria. We literally have a discussion out paper out at the moment about liability. Is it on the software? Is it on the car maker? Is it on the driver? So these are sort of the challenges that autonomous vehicles presents. So there's the Victorian Industry Minister, Ben Carroll, there, who was a keynote speaker at that Vecchi event, and he says ultimately the government's keen to uh, try and pave the way to regulate this if, uh, if the trial is some success. And as you say, this could be a big game-changer in the freight, truck and logistics industry. Well, there's no doubt this is all about the productivity improvement, Simon, that everybody talks about in, in Australia and for our economy right now. Did they give any indication as to when the first of these autonomous vehicles might commercially be on the roads? Not yet, Ross. I think Transurban want to hold their horses and get this trial right. Uh, speaking with senior sources within the company, they don't want to put a year yet on how this could be commercially available. They want to get these trials right, perhaps the trials here in Melbourne, maybe uh, over the, across the East Coast as well. But no doubt the Silicon Valley company is uh, looking ambitiously at this and they said that uh, hopefully, you know, in the next decade or so, we could start seeing this as a commercial viability. I'll tell you what, Simon Love in Melbourne, many thanks for your time on the program today. There you go. So that is Nirvana. If you think about that, the driverless vehicles, they are coming.